Hello guys, welcome to your math exam coach. If you're new to this channel, make sure you like, you subscribe, and share. If you're a returning viewer, make sure you like and you share as well. Today we have an interesting question, uh, which is going to uh, cover the laws of indices. and also solving a simultaneous a simultaneous equation okay so how can we solve this question uh, before we, we jump into the question make sure you like subscribe and share okay let's break down this question so here we have two equations equation one and equation 2. So 2x plus 3 to the power y is equals to 5. So this is a simple equation here. Uh, we don't have to do uh, anything to this one yet. Uh, then the second one is 2x plus 2 minus 3y plus 1 is equals to 13. However, we know the law of indices which is a m plus n we know that this is equal to a to the m a to the n so we can express it this way so we can express the second equation by simplifying it in that way so let's express this as 2 to the 2 2 to the x minus 3 to the 1 3 to the y equals to 13. So what do we end up having? So we end up having 4, 2 to the x minus 3 to the power 1 is 3, 3 to the y equals to 13. So that's, that's our new second equation. Alright, so now, in order to solve our simultaneous equation, uh, let 2 to the x be equals to p, whereas 3 to the y is equals to q. While we're doing this, uh, this allows us to solve the simultaneous equation in a simpler way without having to do deal with the, uh, with the indices. All right, so once we, we said let 2 to the x be equals to p and 3 to the y be equals to q. So now we can rewrite equation 1 and 2. So equation 1 now, which is 2x plus 3 to the y equals to 5, we can rewrite this as p plus q is equals to 5. The second equation, which we simplified to 4, 2 to the x plus 3, 3 to the y equals to 13, we can rewrite this as 4p, 4p um, plus Let's go back here. Oh, so it's minus. So that's minus, not plus. So minus 3q equals to 13. We just have to correct this sign as well, which is a minus. All right, so now we have these two equations, right? P plus Q equals to 5, and 4P minus 3Q equals to 13. So we can, we can simply now solve this simultaneous equation, right? So what we can do is, um, we, from the first equation, we can just say, Q 
is equals to 5 minus 5 minus p and then we can uh, we can just substitute q into the second equation so when we do that we have 4p minus 3 we now know what p what q is which is 5 minus p is equals to 13 this is 4p minus 15 plus 3p equals to 13 right so we have continuation of equation 2 which is 4p minus 15 plus 3p is equals to 13 so 4p plus 3p equals to 7p which equals to 13 plus 15 which is 28 therefore p is equals to 28 over 7 which is equals to 4 right so from 1 from the first equation we know that q is equals to 5 minus p therefore q is equals to 5 minus 4 which is equals to 1 okay so we we have the value of p which is equals to 4 and the value of q which is equals to 1 so we're not yet done right uh, because we we haven't solved for the value of x and the value of y but what do we know we said 2 to the x is equals to p and 3 to the y is equals to q so now we can we can solve it using these values so the first one is now let's go to the next one so we have 2x which is equals to p which is equals to 4 and we know that we can express 4 in terms of a, a base 2 so that means 2x is equals to 2 to the 2 therefore we know that x is equals to 2 uh, let's do the same for 3 to the y which is equals to q which is equals to 1 here that means 3 to the y is equals to 1 but again we know something about the uh, the laws of indices which states that a to the 0 is equals to 1 therefore 3 to the y here is equals to 3 to the 0 uh, therefore y is equals to 0 and so now that's our, our final solution x is equals to 2 and y is equals to 0 all right hopefully that helped you solve this question um, if you like the content make sure you like and subscribe uh, leave any comments or any questions that you might want us to tackle and until then goodbye for now